What is English grammar? Let's give a definition. English grammar is the set of rules for combining words into sentences in the English language. Okay, so I've just used the rules of grammar. I've just used English grammar to take these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These 16 words, a couple of them repeated, uh, these 16 words into a sentence, a correct sentence, uh, according to the rules of English language. Okay, so just to kind of place this in context, we're going to talk about three things. Composition, grammar, and vocabulary. Okay, and I'm going to discuss them starting bottom up. So vocabulary is the list of possible words in English. Okay, or actually in any language, but in this case we're all talking about English. There's a French grammar, and there's a French language, and there's French pro vocabulary. Okay, so, but uh, in English. So the vocabulary is the list of all the words in English, and that is a constantly changing list. And the study of vocabulary, um, or lexicography is a, more, is a fancier name. The study of vocabulary figures out which words we use in English. And we take all those words and we put them into a dictionary, which is an alphabetical listing of all the words. Or we put them into a thesaurus, uh, which groups them according to meaning. Uh, it's a kind of dictionary, or even something like a rhyming dictionary, which uh, groups them according to what sound they make at the end. So, uh, but that's all the study of vocabulary. Grammar is how we take those words, sometimes change those words, and build ter and combine them into sentences. And sentences is a very interesting thing because sentences turns out to be a fairly universal human idea. Uh, all languages have sentences now. Some of those sentences are very different than English sentences, but all languages have sentences. And then we take those sentences, or parts of sentences, and we'll mention those, um, and we, composition is how we take those sentences and turn them into bigger units, how we take sentences and turn them into paragraphs, how we take paragraphs and turn them into novels, uh, how we take sentences and arrange them and combine them to form uh, poetry, uh, how we combine them to form conversations. Okay, so that's all composition. So once you build a sentence, then you can take uh, sentences and sentence fragments in the case, especially in the case of spoken speech, and you can turn that into uh, larger, uh, larger works. So, um, two ways we can break down grammar, and the 
first is r written actually that's not true the first was spoken and then we learned how to write we learned how to speak and then we learned how to write so um, these really these are two different grammars they're obviously related uh, written is more formal uh, written generally takes a little bit more thought and more time spoken is more off the cuff uh, you're making it up as you go along um, and the the rules it turns out that most grammars and the one we're going to study here is primarily written grammar uh, we're going to speak a little bit about spoken grammar but not much but it's, uh, spoken grammar is actually very interesting because you're allowed to break a lot of the rules of written grammar but as a trade-off now you have new rules you have to follow okay and there's rules you follow in spoken grammar that you don't have to worry about in written grammar and vice versa so they're really two different grammars but in this we're going to talk about written grammar okay and the other two major parts of grammar and you'll hear these terms used are syntax which is how to arrange words how to arrange words and this is a big word morphology okay and morph means to change it's actually a word that's becoming more popular now than it than it was when I was a kid so a lot of people know what morph means but it means to change and it's how to change words uh, when you're building a sentence okay and we're gonna study we're gonna study both of those okay because there are there are rules for how words uh, change how they morph uh, and then there's words how they arrange now in uh, in a given grammar in English grammar French grammar there's usually some kind of balance but in English syntax is the biggie and morphology is not so big okay we don't change the words that much in English but it's very important how we arrange the words uh, this is different than say Latin where syntax is much more flexible there's not as many rules on syntax but morphology is is a big thing uh, and uh, on Latin but also Russian and Czech a lot of the Slavic languages morphology is a big thing and you end up spending three quarters of your time on morphology and as a result you don't need to spend as much time on syntax so um, I'm in these videos I'm going to give myself a roughly 10 minute time limit so uh, ooh, I've got a minute to spare well anyway I will talk to you later